So far in season three, season three, episode four is the best episode of season three so far. Why? Because Lori finally dies. Now, I'm going to make a little comment here, and I'll talk about it later on, probably. I decided to start reading the comics, and I will say one thing about the comics. the I, I like the show, a, not better, because the comics so far, when I'm reading, is much it's better. It is better. The comics are better. The point I'm trying to say is, in the comics, there's a line where Lori's going crazy and complaining when, they, when they're at the prison. And Rick says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that's what Rick should have been telling her in one of these episodes, season two, and up, or one of these things now. No, but I guess they do it in a different way. He says, thank you for helping the group. All right. Anyway, this episode is the best because she fucking died. Ding dong, the bitch is dead. The bitch is dead. Stupid bitch. She's fucking dead. She's done. But the show opens up with, you see one of the prisoners, you assume it's a, one of the guys left because we thought Kevin Hart was killed. We thought um, uh, Rick killed him. We thought he locked the door and the walkers ate him. But uh, we see a prisoner like having a deer and then lining it up and basically like luring the walkers to kill everybody else that's in the prison, our crew. Then Rick and everybody are outside. They're, set, they're planning out how they're going to use the cars as uh, barricades or whatever. And all of a sudden... T-Dog's like, hey, Rick, check it out. And he sees the two prisoners, and they go up to him, like, yo, we told you not to come out here. But I think it's Axel. He's like, listen, man, please, we can't go in there. There's ghosts in there, man. There's ghosts. And they discuss this among themselves, if they should let them in the group. And they're like, no, like, we should not. We don't know them. We can't trust them. We've been through so much. We, we don't know if they like Tomas and, and this other guy. We don't know. We can't risk it. And uh, T-Dog has an issue with it. Then... Rick's like, listen, who would you rather have blood on your hands, theirs or Maggie and, you know, or ours? And Tito's like, neither. And Rick kind of, like, puts that in perspective a little bit, and he's thinking about it. Then we go back to Woodbury, and uh, Andrea and Michonne are having issues. Michonne's, like, scoping the place out. She's looking for holes, in the sense that she's also trying to figure the governor out. She's looking at the cars that they brought back, and she's like... Hmm, the governor creeps up behind her and he's like, oh, powerful weapons or some bullshit. He's trying to convince her to be a soldier for him. And the show, it seems like she's gone through some fucking shit in the past that's really like, with men at least. Like something with men in her past. At least her reaction to the governor and things like that. And she doesn't trust people as much. Although she took Andrea in, it's like she doesn't trust people and something happened in the show. Hey, anyway, so Michonne sees this. She has a back and forth with the governor, and she basically says, you think walkers learned how to use guns? And the governor's like, oh, they must have encountered bandits a while ago, and she's just, like, not buying his bullshit, and she wants to get the fuck out of there. Andrea gives Merle the map and tells her exactly where she thinks the farm was where they were. And he's like, oh, you were here. And then he's like, why didn't we hook up? And she's like, what the fuck? It's like, why are you helping me? And she's like, well, if it was my family... I would want to know where they were, if they still were alive, too. Oh, by the way, also, I mentioned Vlad the Butcher, and it's Vlad the Impaler in the last episode. Vlad the Butcher, I said Vlad the Butcher because I had a mixtape when I was younger called Vlad the Butcher, DJ Vlad, and, uh, yeah, so I always do, I always fuck that up. Um, yeah, back in the prison, Herschel wakes up, and and he's like, I'm not laying in this bed anymore, I'm gonna get to walking, or hobbling, or hopping, and he goes out, and Rick and everyone looks at him, and they're so happy. And then all of a sudden, Walker starts... And then he does look at Lori for a second, and he's like... He's like, oh, she's so beautiful, and she's smiling like, oh, he loves me again. And then all of a sudden, all these walkers show up from behind them. And he's like, they're like, no! So then they're running up there, little Carl, and everyone's trying to fight Carl and Maggie. They're trying to shoot these walkers, but there's a bunch of them. And uh, they get separated. Beth and Herschel lock themselves up in this little stairwell. T-Dog and Carol run off, and T-Dog's trying to lock them in, and he gets bit, and Carol starts screaming, and he's he's done for, you know? And then he takes Carol, and they go inside um, one of these doors into the tombs. Lori and Maggie and, Sh and Carl go in somewhere else. And all of a sudden, Lori, he's giving birth. She's like, something's wrong. I'm going to give birth. They have to hide into this little room. And she's like, oh, my God. And she's in pain. And she's trying to push the baby out. But her water hasn't broke. But she feels like the baby's trying to get out. And she starts bleeding. And then she's like, you got to get, you got to cut, cut this baby out of me because I'm not letting this baby die. And um, Maggie's like, I can't do it. I don't have anything here. And it's like, we have Carl's knife. 
and it was like, oh no, you know, and you, it's like just terrible. The other end, T Dog is taking uh, Carol through the tombs. He's like, I'm saving you. I don't care. We had a pact. Even if I'm bit, I'm going to make sure you live because it's not happening. And as they're walking down this corridor, all of a sudden these two walkers come up and T-Dog just charges at them. And she's like, no, what are you doing? And he grabs him. He holds him off. He goes, go, go, just go. And they start biting the shit out of him and T-Dog's dead. They bite his neck. They bite his arm. They bit his shoulder. He's fucking gone. Carol cries and she runs out. By the way, I don't know if the actress actually had cancer because I'm wondering why she's wearing that thing on her head. Although they do wear it in the comics Rick does in uh, some of the issues in the beginning when they're at the prison. I don't know. Maybe that's why she did it. I don't know. Um, after this, um, Rick and them get up to the top, and then all of a sudden they're like, what the hell's going on? Somebody's doing this. Like uh, Somebody let them out because they found that the gate was broken. It's like, you think it was the prisoners? Who else could it be? And then these alarms, <laughs> these sirens go off, and they're like, what the fuck is going on? Now more walkers outside are coming towards the prison. They're attracted because the alarms are going off. So they ask one of the uh, prisoners. He tells them where the generator is. That's the only place they could be going. They could have turned it on from. They run over there to see what the fuck's going on. Andrew's fucking there. And Andrew's like screaming with an axe trying to kill Rick. Uh, Daryl pushes the door closed. These walkers are trying to get in. And uh, he tells the other guy, listen, go help. Where the fuck was Axel when all this was happening? (laughs) Where the fuck was he? Anyway, um... This guy, I don't know what his name is. He's a tall guy. He's a tall dude. Uh, he runs up and uh, to help them, I guess, because Rick's fighting with this guy. Rick drops the gun. The guy loses his uh, axe. They're fighting. They're struggling. Finally, like Rick pushes it, pushes the guy off. Um, they get up, or the guy gets up to attack Rick, and this uh, the other guy throws a fucking trash can. <laughs> Hits Kevin Hart in the head. Kevin Hart falls down, and then um, big guy grabs the gun and points it at Rick, and Rick's like, you know, holding his hand up, like, don't kill me, don't kill me, and it says, it's like, he, motherfucker, he, he should kill you, because you were, you were an asshole to him, you wouldn't let them be with you guys, and then all of a sudden, Kevin Hart jumps up, he's like, kill him, man, kill him, this is our house, we can take the prison back, and boom, blows him the fuck up, and then gives the gun back to Rick, and Rick's like, thanks, man, and he shuts off the generator, and the noise stops, but you have, uh, Lori doing this whole big speech, this terrible acting in my opinion, to Carl, and Maggie's crying, she's a good actress, Carl's trying his hardest, but I don't think he really liked her either, <laughs> like, I don't think Chandler Riggs really liked the actress, uh, Sarah, whatever, because he's like, I'm trying, I cried so much better last season, <laughs> when Sophia died, I don't like you mom, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, it's terrible, it's terrible acting, And, uh, yeah, so Maggie cuts her open, takes out the baby, baby starts to cry, and Carl has to kill his mom, because she's dead. He's like, no, she's my mom, like, you know, I gotta do this. Which she says later on, like, I would do it for you, and with, and with Deanna and everything, leading Deanna to, uh, Michonne and, uh, Spencer. But, uh, yeah, so he kills him, and then he walks out, and that's his good, he's like, trauma, like, not, not traumatized, he has, like, no expression, you know? Maggie comes out after... Rick and everybody get out and they're like where's you know where's Lori where's everybody and then all of a sudden he hears the baby crying and he sees Maggie holding the baby and she's crying and he's like where's Lori and he's just like oh no and then he sees Carl come out with the gun and Carl has no emotion like he's just dead and I don't know people laugh at this laugh at this scene you know when Rick looks at him and goes no and he says cry look that's like really good acting in my opinion and I think it was more from the sense of like from, you get like a lot from that scene. It's like not only is it like painful that that you know Carl had to kill his mom, but it's also for Rick. It's like oh no, my son had to kill his mom. You know, like he just lost everything. Like he's like kind of like my son's lost now. Like that's why he's crying too. It's not just the loss of his wife. Yes, but he already knows that Carl did it. That Carl was the one that put her down, and he knows that Carl just. That's gonna. That's he's just like no. Like I don't know. It's just it's very powerful. Um, I think they stay. They decide to stay. Oh, uh, Merle wanted to go find his brother, but he knows the governor's already trying to tell him no, and uh, the governor's trying to convince Andrea to stay, even though Andrea says she's leaving. But Andrea tries to convince Michonne to stay, and I think they end up staying for two more days. Oh no, a good episode because a lot of shit happened in the prison that was cool. You know, Andrew showed up again, which nobody knew at the time. 
Lori died, which is always a plus. But then, even in death, she's going to ruin the next few episodes. And I'll get to that when that comes up. But Jesus fucking Christ, that bitch. But anyway, good episode. Lori dies. Great, great episode. 